Okay, for this next part, you're going to need some uh, special tools. Uh, I chose to buy uh, the Aprilia special tools. Uh, these are kind of expensive. Um, the one tool that you absolutely do need and there is no replacement for is this guy. So 020956Y. Um, and this is used to hold uh, the cam timing gear uh, away from the actual camshaft so you can pull the camshafts out uh, to get access to the buckets and the shims underneath. Uh, so this bolts onto the head, like we'll see in a second. Uh, these two tools, uh, there are non-factory options, uh, which are in the forum thread that is linked. Uh, or rather the website that is linked uh, by Cranky Gypsy. Uh, you can choose to use those or actually buy the uh, Aprilia tools. And the other thing that you need, uh, that I chose to go again non-factory on is, uh, I'm just using a Motion Pro gear jammer uh, instead of the actual uh, gear holding tool that the Aprilia factory manual recommends, uh, obviously. You need the factory manual um, or I re highly recommend having it so these are the part numbers uh, for the special tools uh, so this one is used to uh, insert into a or screw into a hole a threaded hole in the crankcase and then this end part, uh, which is non-threaded, it fits into a divot in the actual uh, crank itself. And this is a pin that will insert into uh, the cam. So when these two uh, pins are inserted and all the holes are lined up, that means your engine is in time. And you always want to check that before you start the project. Uh, maybe take some pictures and stuff so when it comes time to reassemble you can get everything exactly back in the place where it needs to be uh, the other thing that i don't have on here uh, is you need some kind of pin to insert into the exhaust cam uh, scissor gears uh, because those are uh, held in spring tension to reduce gear noise um, and i'll show you that while we're taking stuff off Okay, today I am planning to build some of the tools required to check the clearance on the front bank. Uh, as I've been doing this and reading up more, uh, I've realized that you can't actually check the clearance in the front bank with just the factory tools. You're going to have to build uh, your own tools. Uh, seeing as that is the case, uh, I would just suggest like not buying the factory tools at all unless like you really want to for some reason um, building the tools is like seems at least to be not so hard and several people have done it before um, I'll link some of the uh, some of the threads and websites in, in the video description um, but I'm just going to follow some of the um, I'm just going to follow the methods they use to build the tools. Uh, I'll just show you what I'm doing as I go. Um, so a couple of things that you need to buy to build these tools is uh, this is like a 27 M or sorry, a T27 Torx uh, that comes as apparently part of a steel uh, like chainsaw or some small engine uh, toolkit. And they're pretty cheap. I got a set of five on ebay for like 10 bucks something like that um, and all you need to do for this one is like cut it off at like 33 to 35 mm uh, from here to here so that you can actually insert this into the cam pin just like the factory uh, cam pin tool this is ex supposed to be exactly the same diameter uh, i'll measure that in a second uh, the other thing is uh, m6 by 1.0 millimeter thread pitch um, bolt which is 90 millimeters long uh, i think 80 will do 
but it's nice to have 90 because uh, we want <coughs> excuse me because we want to modify the tip so that the tip is exactly the same as the factory tool uh, this i'm still not entirely sure how i'm going to do um, because the person in uh, on the forums uh, cranky gypsy who did it uh, he seems to have access to a drill press which i don't uh, so i might attempt to do this just with uh, with a hand drill uh, but we'll see as we go along um, and as i understand it it is the pin doesn't necessarily need to be exactly like the factory tool if you just rounded off the tip uh, it would sit in the crank boss um, crank to it so i might also try that uh, since i have multiples of this um, multiples of this bolt uh, i can just mess with a few and if i mess one up i can always build another tool all right let's get started this dog's about to leave here in a real hurry as soon as i start messing with stuff so i'm just going to measure 35 mm out here actually let's first measure if this is exactly the same as the factory pin so these are obviously the factory tools and this uh, will essentially replace this uh, we'll look at and the bolt will replace this guy see what this guy is yep exactly the same perfect So I marked it right at 35 um, and we'll chop it off and um, maybe a little bit closer. We'll chop it off right there and then we'll uh, round off the edges. I just chopped it off and uh, smoothed off the edges so that one it's easier to insert and two uh, we don't mar up any of the uh, parts inside the engine I grabbed a couple of uh, nuts that fit on this and I'm going to counter tighten them and then uh, sort of try and make so that I don't ruin the thread um, and then sort of make a dome shape at the end of this that will hopefully fit into the divot in the crank.
So I have a pretty nice dome shaped going on on there. Threads are nice and smooth. No issues there. I'm gonna wash both these tools really well. Last thing I want is little metal filings in the engine. Okay, so I just reconfirmed, um, or rather I used the rear bank just to check out if all the, if the tools work correctly and they do. So I put this in, it locks into place. I put the bolt in here and it basically perfectly sits in the divot back there. I can see it sitting in there. I um, don't know how well this comes across in camera, but uh, I try to zoom in and do some editing. So now I'm going to do the same thing on the front bank, put the rear banks valve cover back on.